Algorithm change number one is TikTok is resetting their search results for 2024. What does this mean? It means that it's easier to rank for search right now in the next two weeks than it ever will be ever again on TikTok. In fact, the last time that this happened, this creator right here took advantage of it and was able to gain hundreds of thousands of followers, get tens of millions of views. But more importantly, he was able to reach the ideal person that was a customer for his business and this skyrocketed his business, his views, and his followers. And you have the same exact opportunity over the next two weeks if you implement exactly exactly what I'm about to share with you because more than 50% of people under the age of 35 don't go to Google anymore to do searches. Instead, they come to TikTok so you could get your ideal viewer to view your content 24 seven by them searching out for it and then all of your other content gets recommended to them simply by implementing three different methods. The first method is gonna be the OTS method. The second, the ITD method. And then finally, the ITT method. And all you have to do is implement these three methods without skipping any of them. And it's gonna skyrocket your ability to rank for search right now on TikTok. But first, I need you to smash that subscribe button. If you wanna go quick on TikTok, Instagram, or YouTube, I literally upload a video every single day about how to grow on these platforms. In addition to that, I just created a free TikTok growth course updated for 2024 that's gonna tell you the best hashtags to use and the best time to post on TikTok. And if you wanna get into that, go to that pinned comment below and register right now. It's literally 100% free. The OTS method means that you need to have the keywords that you're trying to rank for actually on the screen. OTS stands for on the screen. And what you need to make sure of is that you literally have it in the hook of your video. So if the keyword that you're trying to rank for on search isn't within your hook or isn't on the screen in the first three seconds, well, guess what? This is gonna drastically reduce the odds that you actually end up ranking for search. Because when somebody searches for something on TikTok, they're gonna be met with several different results. And if you wanna be able to win that click, you need to have the keyword on the screen. In addition to that, I would not make the mistake. I get so many DMs every single day, so many emails every day, so many comments every day saying, Rob, should I load up a bunch of different hashtags and move them off the screen on TikTok? And no, you should not be doing this. This does not work for TikTok. I don't know who is spreading these rumors. In fact, this could destroy the amount of reach that you get because TikTok will then mark your content as not eligible for the For You page and it's going to ruin your account. The second thing you need to be doing is the ITD method, which is going to be putting those keywords in the description. If you don't have those keywords, words on the screen and don't have them in the description, it is going to ruin your chances of being able to rank for search because essentially all TikTok is trying to do is trying to showcase the most relevant piece of content. With 2024, there are new times upon us and that's exactly why this works and why it's a great opportunity for you to be able to rank for search if you're implementing the ITT method, which is going to be in the transcription. If you didn't know, TikTok literally transcribes every single video that is uploaded to TikTok. This is how they know who to push your content to if you didn't put a description and you had no text on the screen. So essentially what happens is you need to make sure that TikTok is making sure that your content is the best to push out for the search result that you're trying to rank for by having that keyword as text on the screen, in the description, and in your transcription. And this is gonna skyrocket the odds that it actually happens if you're able to hit the next three things that I'm about to share with you. By the way, the last one, the 70% rule is by far the most important. If you're trying to get views on TikTok with this current link, latest algorithm, you need to make sure that you're hitting that rule. But first, I need to make sure that you're actually creating content that TikTok wants to push out. And there are three different ways for you to be able to figure this out. The first one is you need to prove to yourself that TikTok actually wants to see the content you're about to create. One of the easiest ways for you to do this is to try to find small accounts on TikTok within your niche that have gotten more views than they have followers by uploading content on a certain topic, in a certain format, and of a certain length. And those are three things you need to pay very close attention to. The second thing that you could do is literally do a search for something on TikTok and then upload apply the filters for most liked and last 30 days. If you don't see any videos that have gotten over 10,000 likes, this is a really good sign that you shouldn't even create the piece of content that you're going to create. And if you do see videos that have over 10,000 likes, you need to click into them, see what format they're in and how long they are because those are the types of pieces of content that you should be modeling your content after because here's how TikTok works. In fact, I want you to test this out. I want you to go on TikTok right now, interact with certain types of videos, keep scrolling, and I bet that you were literally only only going to see those types of videos. For example, my girlfriend was showing me the other day one of those crazy waves that hit California. We watched it on her TikTok, we scrolled a few more times and all we saw were other waves content, waves that were happening in Japan, waves that were happening in other parts of California and other parts of the world because TikTok identified that we watched that piece of content, we liked that piece of content and that is what allowed them to continue to show us that type of content. And you need to do the same exact thing but in reverse for your audience. 
And this brings me to the last thing that you should be focused on, which is that you should be looking at what is trending for your specific audience on Instagram and for YouTube, because those things that work on those platforms might also work if you bring them over to TikTok. Now, this isn't always going to happen. In fact, typically, I would say that you shouldn't post the same content across all platforms. That's not what I'm telling you to do here. But what I am saying is look at what formats are working or look at what types of content or what hooks are working, because those things could work across platform. But typically, if you post something on Facebook and post it on TikTok, that would kind of be like talking to your grandma the same way that you're going to talk to your friends. You wouldn't do that. And on each one of these social media platforms, people interact with people differently. For example, you're a completely different person on LinkedIn than you are on TikTok. And that's exactly why you need to be making content that's actually specific for each platform, which is why I'm about to share with you exactly what formats TikTok is pushing like crazy and what that 70% rule means so that you're able to hit that and skyrocket the amount of views and followers you're getting. Now, when it comes to the formats of content that they're pushing, there are three of them. The first is going to be really short videos, but not less than five seconds long. If you create a piece of content less than five seconds long, TikTok is not going to push it out. The second type is content over 60 seconds long. TikTok has literally come out and said that more than 50% of people on TikTok watch videos over a minute long. On top of that, they're paying creators that create content over a minute long. So they're kind of incentivized to push out more content like this. And they want to compete with YouTube in the future, which is exactly why they want you creating longer form content content. And then finally, you need to make sure that you're posting shopping posts, green screen posts, duets, stitches, and you need to make sure that you're playing the games that pop up on TikTok. Why? Because they actually have a hook built into them. They keep people on the platform for a really long time. And there are so many people that interact with posts like that. So if you create posts like that, guess what's going to happen? You're going to get more views. But remember, you want to make sure that you're interacting with those things so long as they're trending within your niche. Those things are trending broadly on TikTok. But if you go and can't find any examples of how to actually implement those things within your niche, well, guess what? That isn't what you should be doing and you should instead be doing the formats and the topics that you see showing up after you do searches for what's actually trending within your niche, look at what's trending in your niche on other platforms, or you make sure that you find a small account that did one of those things that got more views than they have followers because it's a really good sign that you should actually implement that into your content. But I will promise you, none of your content's gonna get pushed out if you're not hitting this 70% rule right now on TikTok, which means that more than 70% of your audience is still watching your content after the first three seconds. That's not happening. It means that your topic is off, your format is off, or your hook is off. And if one, or worse, all three of those things is off, it's going to be the reason that TikTok doesn't push out your content. Because if people aren't sitting there to watch the piece of content you've created, then why would TikTok push that content out? All TikTok is trying to do is keep people on the platform and keep people coming back to the platform and if you're not helping them do that they're not going to push out your content that being said if you're serious about growing faster on tiktok right now getting monetized on tiktok or making more money from your tiktok well, i personally want to help you in fact i want to look at your account and tell you exactly what i would do differently so that you grow quicker if that sounds interesting well please keep watching this video because i've got a special offer for you the opportunity to grow on TikTok and this organic reach that we're currently seeing is not going to last for forever. And the only two things holding you back from getting the followers that you deserve right now on TikTok and the followers that you want is one, you haven't implemented the steps that I share with you in this video to help you get more followers. And two, you haven't gotten into my TikTok mentorship program yet where I literally am going to guarantee that I help you get more followers in the next 30 days or you get your money back zero questions asked. And the way that this works is I'm going to tell you exactly what to post, when to post, what hashtags to use to guarantee that you get more followers in the next 30 days. If that sounds interesting, and then please go to the link in the description below and get signed up right now. The average person that's gone through this program has gained over 50,000 followers and nobody has ever gone through it and gained less than 6,500 followers if they implemented everything that I share with them. And since you're still watching this video, I'm gonna assume that you're above average. So the odds of you gaining over 50,000 followers is probably quite high. And it doesn't matter what your background is or what your niche is. This program is gonna help you get more results faster and easier. If you're struggling right now to grow on TikTok, you need to get into this because every single day that you wait, it's only going to get harder to grow. So what are you waiting for? Go to the link in the description below and sign up right now. You literally have absolutely nothing to lose. You're going to get more followers on TikTok or you're going to get your money back. In fact, this creator just went through this program and gained over 10 million followers. This creator over 14 million and this creator over 16 million. And I want you to be my next success story. So please stop procrastinating, invest in yourself now and get the TikTok followers that ultimately you deserve. Or I strongly suggest you check out the next two videos I put up on the screen because they're the videos YouTube thinks you should watch next. Thank you so much for watching.